This is Anthony Vincent, the voice of 10 Second Songs and Set the Charge, and I want you to put your horns up. Inside the trash for the legendary trash for which unfortunately is gonna close his door soon. But one thing that you can never take out of music is the soul of it. And we're sitting here at the Johnny Cash corner with Anthony yeah. Vincent from Set the Charge and 10 Second Songs. And first and foremost, man, before we talk about everything that you have going on for the last year, let's talk about Set the Charge. Let yeah, us know absolutely. like everything, like you know, the story behind the band when it started out, you know, yeah. and the whole approach that you guys are you know, a very different band. It's punk, it's metal, it's rock, it's like a nice, like, it's almost like a gelatin, but that tastes good, because I hate gelatin. Yeah, gelatin <laughs> sucks, man. No, you know what it is? Um, Set the Charge was a two-piece that my brother and I saw, and we were playing shows. We actually played, we booked a couple of gigs over here, we were playing as a two-piece, and then what happened was, um, when I put out my videos on YouTube and actually started getting acclaim with 10 Second Songs, that's when I was like, you know what? This could be a really good thing where we can promote the band eventually and, you know, turn that into something. So let's get our shit together and turn this into an actual band, you know, and get on the ball. So now, that's kind of what we're focused on, guys. Get to, just to get set the charge up to par and actually be like a, you know, a fully functional band. So we've got a bassist and a guitarist, Tom and Derek, they've been amazing. And we're a four, four piece, a fully functional unit. And we'll see where the sound goes, because, hey, look, it's ever changing. Well, who knows what it's going to develop into next. But you are playing guitar and you're singing this, you are rolling the band. Yeah, absolutely. Although I will say that I do like to, to put the guitar down sometimes and Tom, let Tom go over the road. It gets overwhelming. I like to just sing. I just want to lay into that microphone. How old were you when you started singing? When I was in the shower? I mean, how did it happen? I mean, I, 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 was, I'd be more, I was one of those kids that would sing a lot to myself as a kid. You know, but I didn't really start singing until, I'd say about 2005. We were going to start, my old band, which is like a hardcore metal band, uh, we were going to start doing, like, at the time, metalcore was big. You know, like Kill Switch and Games, that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. So, like, we were going to start doing one of those things where it's like, it was melodic singing with uh, screaming. Our singer, uh, who's actually the singer of Within the Ruins right now, you know Within the Ruins? Yeah, 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 of course. Tim Gorgon, he, he was the singer of the band at the time. So he was a screamer, and I was going to be like, I was going to start singing. So I started to sing, but then that band broke up. So I was just like, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to start singing right my own songs. You know, so that's how that happened. And tell us about the transition between you creating music with your brother and then deciding to be like, alright, you know what, I'm going to start doing some videos and see what happens from there. How, how did that happen, you know? Dude, I started with um, a custom songs business a couple of years back. That's what you do. That's exactly what you do. I was, I was doing jingles, I was, uh, jingles for people, online businesses and whatever, I, I, you know, just a bunch of different work, voice work, you know? So, 10 Second Songs really was nothing more than, than just an ad for my custom songs business. It turned into something else, but it still is kind of like that. Like, I'm still, my, my, my passion is in my art, is in writing music, but I produce in different styles. That's what I like to think. I like to think of it as I produce in different styles for use of commercial work and stuff, because I mean, you know what, it is a, a lucrative business, it could be. And that's uh, just something that, that was, was always there on the side. Now it turned into like a YouTube kind of phenomenon. Yeah, you're a YouTube star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it has a little bit of a claim right now, but, you know, I'm, I'm keeping myself in check. Like, you know, I don't think I'm like, you know, it's, it's cool that I can do all these little different things, but at the same time, my heart in, is in the rock and roll. It's in, it's in metal, it's in, it's in this, it's in the band, the live music, all that stuff. Right, I mean, I mean I'm sure, we, I mean, we saw a lot of interactions of, uh, or a lot of reactions from a lot of fans from all the players that are like, oh, we wish we could be there tonight because they want to see you perform on stage with a band. You know, because one thing is the YouTube thing, 
which is great, but what you're doing is, I mean, you will put the thing on the screen right now, it's bad as a lower your name because it's so genuine, so different. But as you were saying, what you want to be known for is being a performer, being a magician, not just yeah. like a, a 10 minute of fame double you Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, 10 Second Souls is entertainment. It's, it's cool to do, and I've got a following from it. You know, but think about what I do. Like, I'm, I'm transitioning in the voices and in the styles of different artists. Obviously, down the line, I'm going to want to be my own artist, you know? <laughs> to, see someone, to see someone like me who's doing this right now on YouTube do something like that for me. <laughs> saying, oh, look, now I'm doing separate charge stuff. Uh -huh, you know? uh -huh. Hey, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty uh, cool. But um, so listen, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. And were you at the beginning a little camera shy? Because now I see you like at the beginning, you had to like rehearse a little bit to make sure you had like your own persona going on. Like, and now you do everything in one take, pretty much. Yeah, that's uh, it's always been for me. That's that's what I feel kind of. It's just my like, I like to get things in one take. I feel like that's kind of what it is. If I were to go up on, on one of those videos and, and do everything like you know where it's like obviously edited, it wouldn't have the same appeal. Like people like to know that it's actually a performance and it's actually being done from beginning to end, no cuts. They can see it with their own two eyes that here I am going through all the transitions. You know, it's uh it's one of those things that I got to keep up because like you know uh, it's, it's just it feels more like a performance. And what were you doing the moment that you found out that metal hammer, the prestigious metal hammer, including you in their award category for king or queen of the internet? I mean, what were you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Dude, I was... A friend of mine who's a... A friend of mine on, on Facebook just like tagged me saying, oh, you, uh, you're nominated for a golden, uh, golden god. I was like, yeah, golden god. Yeah, yeah I was like... I was like what? You know? I was like, I completely was, um, I didn't expect it, you know? But it was, uh, it was uh, obviously, it's an amazing uh, honor. And I was, hey, listen, you know, just to be nominated is fucking awesome as it is. You know? so, well, whatever happens with the results, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that it was, there's one of five nominees, it's pretty cool. And it's awesome. The most important thing to remember is that what he's doing is he's making you guys know about different songs, about different artists. Because as we know, a lot of metalheads, hardcore heads, punkhead heads can be very close-minded, very yeah. metalist. But what you're doing is making sure that everybody knows that there's so much music. That's why I decided to sit on the Johnny Crash corner because you know what? It's about being a rebel. The music is for you, yourself, and whatever. It, if anybody else likes it, awesome. You know what I mean? But yeah. this music is so personal for us. It is, man. It is, and you know, um, I think that. Um, these days, not enough people, uh, they're just not exposed enough to it to just, to know why it's exciting. You know, I, I, I was, we were all grateful, I mean, we were all um, fortunate enough fortunate. to be in, a, to be in a, a time period where there was still a little bit of that, just a little bit of that peeking into the mainstream. And I don't mean like selling out type of music. I'm talking about, you know, bands that were so influential that, they were kicking into the mainstream just out of rebellion, like Pantera got so big. They never sold out, but they got so big that they were, they, they were fucking with people because they got it on the charts, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, kids saw that and they were like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we're in a time right now where kids aren't getting that, you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, anything anything that could be done to help that. You know, I, someone's got to step, step up to the plate. <laughs> and that's what we do. We make sure that people who don't know now, like my, I ran out, they're like, who's Johnny Cash? Check out Johnny Cash. You know what I mean? Like, that's what we're here to do, you know? In, in New York, we can say that. In New York State, people love their music, and we love different types of music, you know? It's not about one genre. There's so much going on here. Yes, absolutely. Did you get that award already from YouTube for the one million subscribers? I'm supposed to be getting some kind of golden play button or whatever. Something like that. I didn't get it yet. That's badass though, dude. Yeah. I, got, I want to congratulate you for that. Really and nice. 10 second songs, most people like set the charge. Check them out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Instagram is a new yeah. hot commodity, but yeah, check them out.